Unless you've been taking private lessons, you've probably never heard of the piece Morceau Symphonique by French composer Alexander Guimond. This piece is one of the essential works for trombone and finds itself at the top of the list that I compiled of most recommended pieces for collegiate trombone auditions. This is a list that I compiled by doing a survey of websites from about 100 colleges and universities to find the most commonly recommended trombone audition materials. At the top of this list, Morceau Symphonique was mentioned 28% of the time. One of the primary reasons is for this beautiful legato section at the very beginning of the piece. It allows the player to demonstrate their range, their control of playing legato in the upper register, and not to mention the fact that, oh yeah, it's in six flats. The next reason for its importance is that it features a short, unaccompanied cadenza. This provides the player with the opportunity to show off their mastery of four octaves of B flat. From this point, we drop a few flats, change meter, kick up the tempo, and let the instrument sing in this Romantic Era style piece. Also coming in at 28% on the list is the book Melodious Etudes for Trombone, or more commonly known by trombonists as the Roshu Book, named for transcriber and arranger Johannes Roshu. The Roshu book features transcriptions of vocal pieces in various keys and time signatures and also includes more advanced rhythmic figures than you're apt to see in your typical high school band music. While there are lots of great etudes in this book that get progressively more difficult, I've listed 10 great places to start in the upper right hand corner. These vocal pieces, originally composed by Romantic composer Marco Bordoni, were originally arranged for unaccompanied trombone, but now they're also available with piano accompaniment. Bass trombone players can also enjoy these etudes, found under the original composer's name with the title 43 Bel Canto Studies for tuba or bass trombone. Another great option would be one of the six sonatas by Galliard. Originally written for cello, each of these sonatas lay great on the trombone and they were mentioned 22% of the time on the survey, especially Sonata No. 1. One of the greatest attributes of these sonatas is that each of them have multiple movements with different contrasting styles. The first movement, for example, starts off with an adagio cantabile, a very slow singing style. The second movement sees a change in character, in tempo, and in meter and this gives the performer a great chance to demonstrate their technical facility in 6-8. Three more movements follow this one, and if that doesn't suit your needs, then there are five other sonatas to choose from. The Capitaine by French composer Camille Saint-Saëns was mentioned 20% of the time in this survey. This solo only has two major sections to learn, the beginning Allegro section, the middle Andantino section, and then the Allegro returns, so this is a classic ABA form. This is a great solo that moves along at a good pace from the beginning, but there are a couple things to keep in mind. First of all, this can be a bit of a rangy piece, especially in the low register, where the player is required to go down to pedal B flat, A, and A flat. The other consideration is that there's an extensive use of tenor clef in this piece, Make certain that your reading chops in that clef are really up to par. Lastly, something extra for our bass trombone friends. The Lebedev Concerto in One Movement for Bass Trombone came in at 16% on this survey and was the most often requested piece for auditions in addition to the bel canto studies for bass trombone and tuba. Lastly, here are a few brief takeaways that I gained from looking at all these college and university websites and their audition requirements. First, 80% of schools recommended that you play two pieces of contrasting styles. So one legato piece and then something technical as well. Second, whatever you do, do not play your all-state audition solo. 
These state solos are intended to be a brief portion of a 10 minute audition and way too short for a college audition. College and university teachers are listening for musicianship through different styles and ranges of the instrument. As University of Georgia's professor of trombone, Dr. Josh Bynum says on his studio website, play to express, not to impress. And speaking of studio trombone professors, once you decide what schools you want to audition at, contact that studio trombone professor. I am certain that they can make a lot of appropriate recommendations for solos and other audition materials.